So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the shop. In this video, as you noticed from the thumbnail and the title, I am building a gigantic bookshelf. This bad boy will be 13 feet tall and 9 feet wide. To get started, I'm breaking down all my sheet goods. I need my vertical pieces to be 13 feet tall. So what I'm doing here is laminating some of the ply together in order to give me that height. To join all these together, I'm using my 23 gauge pin nailer with inch and a half screws. With plenty of glue, these should hold up very nicely. Once I have all of my vertical pieces cut to length and width, I get working on the shelves. The shelves I cut in chunks and then I glue those all up separately. Here I'm marking out the layout of where each shelf will be vertically, and then I'm drilling out the holes using a little jig that helps me keep everything perpendicular. This was handmade, and they make these in Salomon stores too. I'm just cutting down some dowels here. Be careful if you use this method. A bandsaw works just as well, but mine's been down for a little bit for maintenance. Now that everything's cut to size, I start assembly. I'm going to build the two center pieces in solid blocks and then I'm going to have the outside shelves for transportation purposes float. For this joinery I just use my dowels that I cut by hand, plenty of glue and a brush. I put wood glue on each side of the shelf as well and I just hammer them down in with some clamps that holds up very sturdy. So after gluing up the center part, I got information from the client that the height and width of the piece wouldn't fit in any of the freight elevators or the stairwells, so I had to cut that bad boy in half. After all the carcass is assembled, we move on to the face frame. I'm using rough sawn soft maple. I'm just cutting everything down to one and a half inch strips and then I'll join it with a pin nailer and glue. I'm using relative measurements here, that way I'm not measuring something and cutting a batch of them and having anything be short. This gives you nice tight joints when you're doing any type of cabinet work. On the open ends, I miter and wrap the corner, that way the face frame continues the whole way around and there's no exposed plywood.
Once face frame joinery is wrapped up, it's on to sanding and finish. I spray it with a watered down white paint and some clear coat polyurethane. For the installation, I use L brackets to mount the back of the cabinet to the wall. The wall wasn't straight, but we were able to get it to fasten pretty nicely and not rack at all. Here I'm installing the custom rolling ladder that we got from Europe. This thing's pretty cool and can support a significant amount of weight. I actually weigh close to 275 pounds, if any of you can believe that. And uh, the ladder supported me with no problem rolling back and forth. It was a pretty cool addition. I think it looks fantastic. All right, everyone, well, it's finally gonna be a wrap on this build. It's been a blast, it's been enormous. It's taken a little longer than expected, but hey, that's life. I wanna thank each and every one of you for checking out this video. Make sure you're checking me out on Instagram. Uh, I'm doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. You would've got to see this whole build a couple weeks ago um, if you were on there, as well as check out my website, johnmalecki.com. I'll have a full write-up for this entire thing. And then lastly, I just launched a Patreon page. Would love to have you join the team. Come over there, show me some support, helps me put out better videos, helps me get more content to you guys. Until then, I want to thank all, thank all of you one more time, and I'll see you on the next video.